Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is my instant match reaction from Republic of Ireland 3, Bulgaria 1. Isn't it fantastic to see Ireland scoring goals and winning games? Um, basically, I'm doing this video again because we, myself and Kieran did one straight after the game and for some reason the sound didn't record. So um, I'm just going to go through it all again. So we'll start off with the, with the lineup with Mark Travers in goal, which was absolutely delighted to see. And, uh, you know, didn't really do anything wrong all night. Thought he had a solid enough performance. Um, yeah, he was brilliant uh, for his debut. Then Cyrus Christie started a right back, which kind of makes sense. He was travelled with the squad and Seamus, you know, played the game which everyone knew he was going to play against Switzerland. So I think he was just giving it a night off. And then you had John Egan captain on the side, which, came, which the news broke earlier on today, so everyone kind of knew that was going to happen. And then you had Kevin Long, who hasn't played much for Burnley, so it made sense to put him in there as well. Although I would have liked to see Duffy and Egan play together, see what they were like. But either way, um, that seemed like a solid enough partnership. And then you had Conor Howard in at uh, left full, which we knew yesterday. I actually knew yesterday afternoon from the press conference. So... Uh, yeah, the back four, it made sense. Um, wasn't overly joyed over it. Like it made sense and it was solid enough. Um, then into midfield, Josh Cullen, who had his debut as well. I'll get to his performance in a couple of minutes. Um, then you had Alan Brown in there, and you had Alan George, which again, although it's a, it was a good mixture of youth and experience. So it, again, it made sense. I wasn't going to disagree with it. Most of the picks that were in the lineup I had in the starting 11 show anyway. Ronan Curtis out left, uh, Callum O'Dowd on, on the right, and then you had um, Scott Hogan up top. So, I mean, the lineup made sense. There's not a lot to talk about from the first half, really, is nothing really of note. We had one shot on target. They didn't really cause us any trouble at all. We dominated the ball I thought we, we, we imposed on them and we didn't, didn't really give them much to sniff at. Uh, second half, obviously we get the first goal, Ronan Curtis cutting in on his right foot, then he's, uh, or the keeper makes a save, Scott Hogan then, I don't know if it was a shot or or, uh, a, crawl or a pass uh, to Alan Brown, but anyway, Alan Brown sticks it in the net, we're 1-0 up. We're cruising at that point, but I still thought that the team looked a little bit unbalanced with uh, Howard and playing left full. You can tell it's not his natural position. So um, then ultimately, Jack Byrne and James Collins came on for their debuts. And um, not long after that, then Cyrus Christie messes up at the back. Shouldn't really be taking a touch where he does. Uh, concedes possession. Ball comes across. John Egan fells their player and then they scored the penalty so it's one all um, I haven't got a whole lot to say uh, John Egan seemed like a man on a mission to prevent them scoring tonight so he just seemed to foul their player in the box and, and uh, yeah it was a clear foul I mean the ref was in no doubt about that so at that point it's one all and then it was the Jack Byrne show although I thought Josh Cullen was excellent in the midfield as well Deser he was deservedly man of the match that's what he was given to do but I would actually from what I've seen, I thought Jack Byrne deserved man of the match and I've just seen online there, people are going crazy saying Jack Byrne was amazing. So I'm delighted for him personally and, uh, you know, Josh Cullen as well. I caught up with the, most of the players after the game in, in the mix zone. Which some, some of the videos have already gone up, which you can check out on our channel after this. But uh, no, Josh Cullen was brilliant. Jack Byrne was brilliant. But I thought um, the, the kind of turning point was when McLean came on. And then Stevens came on. So when McLean went left back for a little bit, wasn't really working out. Then Ronald Curtis came off, and then the Stevens went left back, and we started to get our shape back. Just having a natural left back there, and you know, linked up. He linked up really well with the players, and you know, Jack Byrne's corner for Kevin Long's goal was fantastic, two one, and then Jack Byrne again, beautiful ball to end the Stevens, and end the Stevens with a fantastic assist. For James Collins to get his debut goal as well. I also caught him up with him after the game and uh, he was absolutely delighted that he scored. Jack was, was in a rush to catch up with his family and stuff like that so I didn't get a chance to talk to him but overall um, I was really happy with the performance. I was really happy that Mick gave it pretty much every guy a run. He had some of the players who had a lot, of, a lot of minutes he brought in as well so overall really happy with uh, you know everything maybe by the attendance, but I can kind of get that on a, 
you know, a, a Tuesday night during the week and um, the time is kind of, uh, I can get why not a lot of people turned up as well. But uh, I have to say, I really enjoyed the game. It was the first game in a while I actually just really enjoyed because we were on the front foot. We had the ball, you know, and it was great to see a League of Ireland player getting a call and actually doing well. So it's all well and good, you know, than being called up and getting a, you know, a token gesture cap. But, you know, Jack Byrne, I thought, really took the bull by the horns there. I thought Josh Cullen showed he's ready to make that step up if, if needs be. You know, if Glenn Whelan's pulling out or something like that, I think Josh Cullen could be the man to step in there. People will say he's not experienced at the highest level yes but um i say just just let him build on on that performance overall uh I, I was really happy but let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh you know you're happy are you looking forward to the qualifiers now that are coming up next month don't forget to to check out our uh, final word challenge it, it probably will be up tomorrow or the day after and uh yeah we hope to have more coverage this week so well. we're going to be up at uh draw the park on Friday night to see Shelburne and Drogheda, which is pretty much a league decider as well. So make sure you check that out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you hadn't already. Drop a like on the video if you like it. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.